Solution of quadratic equations by completing the square. Look at these quadratic equations. Can we solve them by factorization? No, they cannot be factorized by splitting the middle term. So we use a different method. We write the quadratic equation in the form of a complete square and solve it by using a quadratic formula. Here are some quadratic polynomials. Add a constant term so that the polynomial becomes a perfect square. Key in the number. Let's take the quadratic equation 5x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. We divide the equation by the coefficient of x squared, which is 5. We get x squared minus 2 by 5 into x minus 3 by 5 is equal to 0. We transpose the constant term minus 3 by 5 to the right-hand side. We take the coefficient of x, which is minus 2 by 5, divided by 2. We get minus 1 by 5. We square minus 1 by 5 to get 1 by 25. Now we add 1 by 25 to both sides of the equation. Observe that the left-hand side of the equation has now become a perfect square. We can write the left-hand side as x minus 1 by 5, the whole squared, and we can simplify the right-hand side. We take the square roots on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we get the values of x. The two roots of the quadratic equation, 5x square minus 2x minus 3, is equal to 0, are 1 and minus 3 by 5. Let's take the general form of a quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Observe the coefficient of x squared. Divide the equation by a the coefficient of x squared. We get ax squared by a plus bx by a plus c by a is equal to 0. Simplify the first term and transpose the constant term to the other side. We get x squared plus b by a into x is equal to minus c by a. Now find the coefficient of x. Key in your answers. We take half the coefficient of x, that is b by 2a. We square b by 2a to get b by 2a, the whole squared, which is equal to b squared by 4a squared. We add b squared by 4a squared to both sides of the equation. Can you see that the left-hand side is a perfect square? We can write it as x plus b by 2a, the whole squared. We take the square root of both sides of the equation. We get x plus b by 2a is equal to plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. x is equal to minus b by 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. The two roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 r minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. 
Let's now solve a quadratic equation by applying the formula. In the equation, 5x squared minus 9x minus 2 is equal to 0. Find the values of a, b and c. Key in your answers. We substitute the values of a, b and c in the formula and calculate the values of x. Key in your answers for each line. The roots of the equation 5x square minus 9x minus 2 is equal to 0 are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1 by 5.